trying on the Heloise bag in the tan color. I'm honestly so obsessed with this bag. It's just so much more slimming and body hugging more than I expected it to be because the online photos definitely do make it look on the chubbier side. Do you guys just see how narrow it is? Like it's not that wide. It just, oh, I feel like it looks so good as a shoulder bag, like way more than I imagined. I do know a lot of you guys actually really like the canvas version of it, but definitely for me, it would have to be the calf skin oh it's just so absolutely stunning if you have not tried this bag on in person i 10 out of 10 actually 20 out of 10 recommend you guys to go into the store and try it on maybe wait to see if new colors come out they do have additional straps that you guys can add on to it kind of like the Romy bag where the strap is removable which is really nice so you can make this if you don't want it to be a shoulder bag into a crossbody bag with this strap so this other strap you can see it has alternating triumph studs with just regular studs but the shade of brown it's just so so pretty i feel like celine's tan is so nice and this is what it looks like crossbody so this studded strap does not come with it you would have to buy this separately but i love that there is that option doesn't this totally look like an hermes evelyn but the bigger size i feel like if they came out with like a mini or a small size heloise in the future it would definitely look like a pm evelyn which would be really really cute but i actually really like it it's just because it's so slim and if the triumph logo was a little too much you could always flip it over as well but having this option is really nice and then just for funsies i wanted to see if the strap would look good on the mini vertical cabasto because you guys know that i have this bag and it actually looks really really cute it is i wish it was like slightly longer just because the handle is high but it works and then if you guys haven't seen that they do have a new quote-unquote triumph canvas it's kind of this like off-white beigey tan color and i actually really really like it i think it looks really pretty especially against the tan leather this is the small bucket bag i know one of you guys have this in the white triumph canvas and i actually really like it i think it just looks like a super practical bag and then of course i had to see it on the ava and i love 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 because a part of me is debating on buying another ava bag in canvas just because you guys know i love the ava bag so much but yes i love the new triumph canvas i just think it's super muted and it works really really well it's like gray but brown at the same time and then I stopped by Louis Vuitton and honestly, LV has really been putting me on these like shades of green. I don't know exactly what this shade of green is, but they have this new matcha shade that I'm obsessed with. And the gradient of green on this, I think is so well done. I love that this bag is giving me the old Celine Trio bag. My only thing is I don't really know how I feel about the LV and the circle charm. I wish it was just a chain or maybe a fleur-de-lis, but I actually really like this. And then here is the Diane bag you guys know that i love this bag so much zendaya put me on this bag and i'm so happy and sad that she did because it just looks so good my only gripe with this is that this bag does come with the jacquard strap which makes this bag like 2300 dollars. i would much rather have this bag be less than 2000 or 2000 if the strap was optional but it is nice that you can either crossbody it or shoulder bag it but i definitely love it as a shoulder bag more so does zendaya she likes it as a shoulder bag more and it just seems so spacious and there's a back pocket just everything about this i want it so much but i'm currently taking a break from louis vuitton monogram but i will be back for this bag okay guess what i got in the mail so i got some more zumoni organizers let me show you okay so i actually specifically wanted to get an organizer for one of my mom's bags it's for a bag that she doesn't even use anymore but just to help it shape let me show you i actually had to go into my mom's closet to go get the bag just so we can show you on camera 
so this is one of my mom's bags i don't even know how old this is easily probably 20 plus years old i know that they discontinued this bag already but it is the grand chopper tote or the gst except this is with caviar leather but with silver hardware i feel like the most popular is actually the beige i have used this bag i think like two times in my life when i asked my mom if i could use it and honestly my mom is a little bit older now so she actually doesn't gravitate towards her designer bags as much as she used to before but anyways a problem with gsts if you guys have been on the hunt for this bag i know this shopping tote is actually pretty popular on vintage websites the only thing is i think it's because this bag obviously is a big tote bag i know it's like the smaller version of this that's like cut in half but anyways the number one problem with the gst is sagging at the bottom right over here i guess a fresh one would be super sharp but my mom doesn't store this very well she actually keeps most of her bags in dust bags or in boxes if she has boxes for them but do you see how there's like sagging right here you can even see it it goes inward right over here because my mom actually keeps this bag in her original chanel box and the older chanel boxes aren't as thick or two-piece cardboardy but anyway she does keep it relatively stuffed so i actually got her a zimoni organizer specifically for this bag which is why i got her one in black so it's more seamless so this one comes in two pieces so all the organizers that i got are the thinner organizers not the thicker ones but let me just show you this so the gst oh the lighting is so bad hold on so if you guys can see right here there's two pockets up at the top and then two pockets on the bottom so the second one is actually different this one actually has a big pocket right over here so there's two pockets here and then actually another pocket right over here so there's three pockets on this side four pockets on this side so you see there's two outer pockets and then oh my gosh this is like my peasant life using my phone flashlight so total pockets would be so seven on this one and then just four on this so four and then seven pockets on here i mean i don't think this will permanently fix it but maybe just over time for example again you guys can see this like indentation so i want this to be able to gradually go back to being like this do you see the difference put me pushing it out and then like that i'm gonna put this one on the other side so it actually did help it a little bit it's still not perfect but it's it actually did improve it which is really really nice but yes so this is my mom's gst if anyone owns the gst as well i would actually recommend getting the thicker one instead of the thinner one just because this bag needs that support because of how thick this bag is on its own and then i just want to show you guys the other organizers that i got just so you guys can see so you guys actually know that i got a base shaper for this and the base shaper is actually still in it so i have been using it for a couple weeks and i do like it but i said this in my previous video or vlog that it is really hard like it actually kind of hurts it only hurts obviously if you bump into someone or if you get like shoved against something it hurts but i mean it does what it's supposed to do however i actually wanted to test it out and get an actual organizer for it and then just see which one i like more so i have options so i got a mama baguette zumoni organizer as well and i got it in the color i think it's called breccia brown or something and then i actually got another organizer but this one can you guys see how it actually goes up it's like a trapezoid as opposed to an actual just like a little square situation so this one does have how many this one has four pockets on the inside which i think is super super useful so i'm gonna take this little pouch off as well i'm gonna put this in okay see do you guys see how much more flexible this is as opposed to this is so hard like super super hard so okay yes i think i like <laughs> the bag organizer significantly more because just look i can already do you see how it gives it its shape but at the same time i could actually pinch it still whereas this one has absolutely no give at all so depending on what you guys want you want something sturdier go with the base shaper 
or the bag organizer but i actually love 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 the bag organizer so for everyone that also has the mom baguette bag and then also really quick lisa from blackpink actually has a fendi mama baguette bag i'm gonna find the picture that i found and you could only see it ever so slightly and then i was like mm makes me love it even more okay and then i also got a bag organizer for my nano speedy this is in kind of like a bright blue color which is really pretty i eventually just want to get one of each color so i got the little blue one just because i don't know i don't really want the sagging anymore when i use this i actually like the fullness of the nano speedy as opposed to the mini speedy hl i like how like soft and saggy it is so I'm putting this in here, but now you can see, oh wait, you can't see it, but it's blue on the inside and it actually fits so perfectly. Oh my gosh. Now it retains its shape, which I really, really like. And then the last organizer, you best believe I got it for my small Boston. Okay, this one is actually pretty thin and flexible. See, imagine if they just made this for the packing cubes, like a PM packing cube with this. Adorable. So I'm going to take my strap off. I was actually using this every single day for probably two weeks straight. And then I took a break and now I'm back on my Fendi baguette. So this one has a pocket over here and then a long pocket over here. So the pockets are actually pretty short, but that's totally fine with me. But yeah, so now I have a Zumoni organizer on the inside of the bag. Look how cute. I love. And like I said before, what I like about these organizers is that there's still some squish to it. So it's not going to be crazy bulky. Like all of a sudden it's like, you know, it protects the inside. It gives it slightly a bit more shape and stability. But at the same time, it still is pretty flexible as well. Love, love, love. So these are all the organizers that I got. I'm actually gonna probably add some extra tissue that I have lying around to help my mom stuff this and just kind of get rid of this corner situation. I've heard some people on Reddit say that they would get a cloth and use an iron on a low setting, like a silk setting, to kind of iron out the corners. That's really ballsy and I can't play those types of games, but if you guys have done that before, let me know. Okay, but yes. Good morning. Well, it's honestly the afternoon. I'm gonna finally use this for the first time ever. So I don't have any primer on just because I wanted to see how this just performs on its own. And then maybe tomorrow I'll test it out with primer too. And is it weird that I actually like that it's expiring in four months because that means it just motivates me to actually use it up. So again, this is what it looks like. I did swatch it on my hand last night. So I feel like it looks darker in the pan. So this is in the shade Punjab. I'm gonna put a picture of like the color shade spectrum which i think is actually kind of difficult because on the photo it looks kind of dark i like that this nars cushion is actually a diamond shape as opposed to a circle which i find really interesting so super super juicy okay so already it's gonna be the chin area you guys can see all of my like scars and stuff Shade match, it's actually not bad, but I wonder if this will oxidize. I've seen a lot of people actually really like the black square version. A Japanese influencer that I like actually, I forgot who it was, but she actually likes this one, the white one, more. But I know Aoi Ihara really likes the black square one, so... Oh my god, my battery's dying. Okay, hold on. Let me charge my camera and I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and then we'll do a little close-up. So this is it on with just a little bit of concealer. The concealer that I used was the Tower 28, so it's really light and I only put on a little bit. Color match, I actually thought I did really, really well, but I do have to see it outside because like natural lighting and the lighting in my room is never the same. This is a close-up of it. Of course, you can still see my texture, but the finish is actually really, really nice. 
I haven't actually sprayed it with my finishing spray so I'm gonna do that when I leave but I did actually powder it so that's why it looks matte before I powdered it it actually looked really like bouncy and I don't know just nice like when it's called like the aqua glow cushion now I really understand it I just didn't know if it was gonna last but luckily it's been pretty cold so I feel like it'd be fine maybe if I end up enjoying it I might buy another refill when I go back to Japan and then I definitely do either want to try a Bobbi Brown cushion or a Laura Mercier cushion Oh my gosh, so I just opened my Yes Style package and I thought I would show you guys. I actually did buy more makeup. It's this cool cushion. It's called the Bare Water Cushion by Rome MD. I got it because, well, one, it was on sale, but first of all, look at this packaging. This is, no joke, probably my third Yes Style purchase in like two months. So it's the Bare Water Cushion. But look at this packaging. It's so pretty i just can't get over it i got it in the shade 25 so hopefully it's not too dark for me and i'm not gonna open it now just because i don't want to take off the seal but like how cute and then i got a bunch of skincare so apparently this is supposed to be kind of like a dupe for the tatcha rice polishing powder and then there's green tea in this too which i thought was cute and i've used wish trend before like the brand i've used their vitamin c serum their moisturizer their cleanser before so I've had good things, so hopefully I'll really enjoy this. We'll see. This I actually bought for my brother as one of his other Christmas presents. It just didn't come in, so I basically got him an entire new skincare routine because he's really into just like amping up his, I guess, beauty life, I guess you could say. So I got him this eye cream. I've tried it before, and it's a really nice basic one too, like a starter eye cream. And then I got this Abib Rice Probiotic Overnight Mask. Apparently it's like a jelly sleeping mask, essentially. The reviews all say that you only need the the tiniest bit so i'm excited to use this but i'm not going to open this until i finish off my youth to the people um night mask just because i don't want to have too many things open so saving that i also got another clay mask this is more of a calming one not a really aggressive one as well and this is actually my favorite sunscreen brand is tree something like that it's a korean brand and i actually like this brand at least for the sunscreen way more than beauty of Josen, which is why i wanted to give this a go beauty of Josen, weirdly i feel like breaks me out i don't know this is a repurchase i'm actually almost out of this and my skin really loves this as a daytime moisturizer so i repurchase it that's when you know that my skin really likes something and then i also just got another cleanser just because it was on sale and it's from the brand abib this japanese influencer that i follow really likes abib so i just thought i would give their cleanser a go maybe i can use this as kind of like my travel cleanser just because a lot of the cleansers that i have are really really large so yeah and then a couple other things i actually got this ordinary glycolic acid toner i've used this so many times before and I actually bought this for my brother too because he has acne scars on his face as well and this has actually really helped me and it's super affordable too so I got him one as well as the eye cream and then I actually wanted to try out this perfume because one this is Zendaya's favorite perfume of course I'm sure she's a brand ambassador so she I'm sure she likes other perfumes that aren't Lancome but out of the Lancome one in an interview she said she really liked this and then I looked at the notes and the notes are right up my alley I'll put the notes somewhere here just so you can see it's like jazz jasmine and floral and fresh so i'm really excited i'll definitely do maybe a live like spritz test maybe i'll try this on it tonight and then this was actually one of the things this cushion compact and these two things were the things that i was most excited about i'm not gonna lie to you i got influence to get this from a short it's from the brand judy doll and it's apparently a chinese mascara i've never used a chinese mascara this mascara i'll just like insert the short that i saw somewhere here so you guys can see it the wand on this is metal which is really interesting and i don't know and this was on sale i think it was like 40 50 percent off on yes style so i just wanted to give it a go so i got it in black and i got it in brown and i also read reviews on it because i was afraid like what if it makes my eyelashes fall off or something but a lot of people actually really like this so i'm excited so that's it for my little haul yay so i actually had to pick up something up from neiman marcus so i decided to check out their little saint laurent section this bucket bag i see all the time in ads especially the black one because of rose however the leather on this is really stiff and hard i actually didn't like this at all all but this i actually really like because it reminds me of the louis vuitton papillon bag and then also the Louave bracelet pouch i love the quilting on this and i especially love the tiny little ysl logo and the fact that the strap is leather and chain
and then here we have the 4.3 jamie size so they do have this available in a smaller size but if i got this i would definitely use this as an airport slash travel bag it's just so unbelievably light for the size for example the chanel 19 maxi is very heavy but this is so light it's so comfortable there's some pockets on the inside with a zipper my only thing is i don't know how i feel about the chain just because the chain isn't the same as the other ysl chains but this bag is cool because you can shoulder bag it or potentially crossbody it i'm sure if there was more stuff inside crossbody wouldn't be as comfortable but you have the option but yes i just i'm so obsessed with this bag i just honestly want them to release this in more colors because i don't think i want black i really liked that dark green from before Hi guys, so I'm currently getting ready to go out and I've actually done my makeup in a very strange order today. I did my base setting spray and I haven't even done like blush, bronzer or anything and I went straight to the eyes because I wanted to test out this. So this is the viral curling mascara that I just opened earlier. This is in the shade, I think this is the black one. Yeah, like 01 or something like that. So it looks like this, it's pretty thin. It's like the size of my pinky and I have really small hands but i thought we would give it a go so the brand is judy doll i don't know if they have this available on style vana or olive young but they do have this available oh my gosh it's really metal oh my god so this is what the wand looks like i hope it's focusing but it's literally like a metal wand just because you guys know my lashes are not thick they're like very sparse asian lashes but everyone says apparently this because of the metal wand they say it actually holds a curl really really well can you guys see the number one thing i look for in a mascara is honestly not even the curl as if it transfers on my lash line right over here i feel like all mascaras for me transfer because like my bottom bit is really puffy so they all transfer on me unless I wear waterproof mascara But I don't like to wear waterproof mascara Because when I have to take off my makeup It's really hard to take the mascara off Which obviously is the point of waterproof mascara But I always lose like one or two extra eyelashes And I don't like to do that So I try to not wear waterproof mascara So this is the eye without it And this is it with I guess like one coat It's very very natural But I mean it does the job So yeah Yay I need to finish the rest of my face Okay guys, I wanted to unbox this, but I'm just telling you right now that I actually didn't know that I ordered the 90 inch one Or was it 90 centimeters? Maybe it's 90 centimeters But basically I got something from Dior as kind of like an impulse buy If you guys have been watching my new bags videos for a little bit So there was this book tote that came out and I did try it on as well It was like pink and a white base And my favorite thing about this book tote was that there was a little four leaf clover in the corner And I know it sounds really stupid but if there was no four leaf clover i mean i still think the bag is stunning but the four leaf clover is really what tipped me over the edge on why i really wanted it but obviously i don't have the funds right now to just go buy a book tote just because there are other bags that i want to save up for you know the way that i prioritize things is very strange but you guys know me that i always just love to get a little taste of something if i'm able to so i just want to see <gasps> look Okay, hold on. This is the receipt. Look, I got the green one. I'm so happy. I actually love, love, love that they gave me the green one. My ranking was the green one was my number one choice. If they gave me a blue box, I don't even know if they have a blue box, but if they gave me a blue box, I would have been fine with it. Um, and then the pink slash red one was like the bottom of my list. But just look how stunning this is. So let me show you the scarf that i got i wish that they had this available in the 70 instead of the 90 because both of the scarves that i have are they both from dior yeah they're both from dior they're actually both of them are 70 inches and then this is 90 so i really wanted a piece of that collection and then on top of that too i thought about buying it maybe like after the new year started but what if they ran out of the holiday packaging so i was like you know what i'm just gonna get it now so this is the sole reason of why i got this scarf i wish the base was different though like i wish the base wasn't white i wish this whole thing was actually like light pink like the pink that they use for like the banner bit where it says christian dior on the book tote i wish that was the base of this but 
they did have this available in blue but the whole point of getting this was because i wanted the four leaf clover to be green i didn't want it to be blue so just to show you guys this is the 90 by 90 one so this one would be the biggest scarf that i have like oh my gosh it's ginormous like it doesn't even fit the screen that's how big it is like this so let's say that's my chin right and then it goes it reaches all the way down to my knees whereas the 70 by 70 one i could probably show in this entire frame the only thing is i know a lot of people like the 90 by 90 ones because they like to wear it as um what is it like a bandeau top or something like that in the summer i don't dress like that and i'm definitely not confident enough to just wear this crop top like a bra and then this there's just no way i'm like not that type of girl see the reason why i wish this was the 70 by 70 because then i could just wear it as a really cute scarf or i can wear it over my head as well it's just this is so big like look how big this is i've seen pictures of people style the big ones like they'll use it as a shawl and kind of wear it like this like i've seen obviously i'm wearing a crew neck so it doesn't really work with what i'm wearing but i know people like do like the shoulder thing okay i'm really like not styling this correctly i'm gonna put in a couple pictures of how they style just the 90 by 90 scarves on the dior website but look how pretty this is like i love how every quadrant it's a different flower so this one i think there's like roses and peonies i believe or just roses and then on this side there's orchids do you guys see that oh and orchids are my favorite flower and then i forgot what these are called like the belt the the blue bell ones i forgot like but there's a name to it and then look the best corner of them all okay look 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 and then oh and then these flowers the ones with the little black bits i just think this is so pretty like it's so pretty even though i've never worn my other scarves they're small and they're doable like if i'm just wearing a black dress i can just tie it on my neck or something or i can just put it in my hair but because this is so large I really truly don't know what I would wear this with. So if any of you guys own a 90 by 90 scarf, please let me know how you wear it. Can you wear this on top of a dress too? Or is it like a little bit too big? But yeah, okay. So I have to finish getting ready. Maybe I'll vlog later. Me and my friends are gonna go drinking for a little bit to decompress, but yeah. Okay, bye guys.